never mind me. I'm just coloring, working on the possibilities of color for my next color work sweater. Nice. I like That's it. what I'm working on. I love it. There it is. There it is. That is the hashtag Nacroni Suimo 2023 tracker and coloring sheet. Look at that. We gave you a two in one. Good morning, everybody. We are all of into you studios. We're here every single Saturday morning at 930 a.m. Eastern time. That being the time of New York, which, by the way, tomorrow it changes. Well, tonight it changes. Yes. Right? It does. All right. We'll talk but about it's pretty automated for most people, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty Morgan much. He said, don't tell Connor that time is changing. I said, why not? Because then he'll just stay up an extra hour and still be grumpy. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, we're here every single Saturday morning, and we've got fun things to talk about, including great yarn. This is Carolyn. She dyes all this amazing yarn. You can't see all of it, but I'm looking out over Needleworks and all the pretty colors. I'm Michelle, and I do a bunch of stuff behind the scenes, and I'm typically referred to as the tracker. Not the tracker. I saw what somebody said. I'm not the tracker. I'm the mouth. That's what I am. I am the mouth, the big mouth. Anyway, if you are joining us for the very first time, we ask that you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss any of the fun. You do want to go ahead and join our Yarny Use Facebook group. That is an extremely dynamic, active group of a little over 2,000 people. And um, it's knitting, it's crocheting, it's all kinds of fiber crafts and even some non-fiber crafts. We've got people who are into quilting and sewing and all kinds of fun stuff that we share. It's really supportive. There's no drama, no politics ever for real. And we're here, like I said, every single Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. And we've always got something fun going on. Always. So Mary said she likes a good tracker. That's what threw me off. <laughs> so I don't know, Mary, if you call this a good tracker, but we're going to talk about it for just a second. So as you know, we are now into November, which is hashtag Nacroni Suimo. Now here's the deal. Nani Suimo is what most people refer to it as. It is National Knit a Sweater in a Month month right mm -hmm. well we i crocheted first before i started knitting and um we have a lot of crocheters in the yarn to use and so we decided to call it um now crony suimo so it's national crochet or knit a sweater in the month of november is when we do it right and so we decided to create a tracker and a coloring page these are always fun so you can list the name of your pattern right here the yarn that you're using. You can use the other space to list other things if you want to. This is yours. Um, it's a totally free download on our website and the link is in the newsletter this week. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, you want to do that. That's super simple. Just go to our website, www.oliveintoyou.com and a pop-up will show up that says, hey, don't you want to get our newsletter every week? And you go, hey, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> And you give us your email address. We don't sell it or do anything crazy like that. But we do send you emails with lots of good stuff going on. So you can download this for absolute free. And um, yeah, so it says, hello, fall. And you've got, see what I'm doing here? There's some, there's some doodles and I'm coloring in. Like you can audition colors for a color work sweater. There's a couple different designs. There's one down here that's completely blank. So if you want to try to like draw in the design of the sweater you're thinking about, or maybe you're a... Uh, a blossoming designer and you just want to doodle some color work designs there you can and um yeah so the tracker part is here you start here and the idea is this is kind of your path to a completed sweater and you can color it along the way you can make x's you can do whatever you want to do to kind of indicate your progress on your sweater so there you go and you can download as many as you want of course and print it out as many times as you need to so there it is welcome lisa lisa says this is her first time watching thanks awesome. for this live video beautiful yarn thanks so much lisa we're so happy you're here part of the saturday morning you crew as we like to call it or the you zoo depending on how crazy it gets we're the animals not you around here <laughs> it can get a little crazy it can. gosh there's so much going on we've been so busy lately and there's so many fun things to talk about but let's talk about the much requested, she finally caved. We had to work on her. Whatever. A few bonbons. She finally caved. I just had to get things in order. That's get it all. right in your mind. That's right. So we have got the holiday edition of our Die Life Plus Club is open now. You want to talk about it? What's yes. it called? 
It is a Hallmark holiday. So here's the thing, even if you don't watch the Hallmark movies, maybe you have a few traditional favorites that you watch every year. We do both in our household, um, but whichever, then this is still for you because we're just celebrating holiday movies in general. There are even, I know it's, um, this is, the colorway is more Christmas focused, but there are even um, Hanukkah, Hanukkah movies, movies, out movies out there. Yep. I noticed, um, I found a couple that I'm looking forward to watching this year. So yeah, so if you are into that, then, um, or even if you just like to be in the dye line. New colors. Yeah, some people just like the new colors and the process of getting to watch me dye up because that's what happens. You get to, we put you in the Facebook group because that's where we do the, the live, the live video from. So we put you in the Facebook group and then um, I schedule the event and then you get to watch live on, it'll be Thursday, November 30th. I will show you how I dyed up the colorway that you're getting because beforehand you pick the base that you want. The Talk about stains. a zoo. She's usually got a cocktail in her hand. I so do. There ain't no stains. telling what goes on in right. there. I do usually have a cocktail. I don't supervise her in there. So, so you know, it's just willy dilly. Not really. It's not like, no. isn't there a, a drunk cook or something you can watch? On you're your not that. No. Yeah. It's no, not that's like not that. me. We, I plan it all out ahead of time and um, and your yarn and goodie will ship the week after. I make sure that I have most of the yarn dyed up so you'll have plenty of time to knit it up while you're watching holiday movies in December. Um, yeah, what am I forgetting? Well, the fun part is I think you get to interact with her. So it is, it's on Facebook Live so you can make comments and she makes comments back. Mm -hmm. um, kind of smart mouth something, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, but it's a lot of fun because you actually get to interact and it's a, it's a great time. And she doesn't, it's not like a yarn class. She's not teaching right. you how to dye yarn. She just kind of puts you behind the scenes and what her thinking is as she formulates the colorway a little bit here and there about her technique and that sort of thing. And it gets you into the dye studio, which I think is fascinating. Um, so yeah. it is really a lot of fun. The really cool part of the holiday edition dye live, and we've done this for a couple of years is that, our Die Life Plus Club is generally a three month mm -hmm. subscription. It has a theme and it's a three month subscription. And yes, there'll be Die Life Plus Club next year. Um, for those who are waiting and watching, we get so many emails and questions about it. So, but it's usually a three month subscription. The holiday edition is not. So you're not committed for a three month period to a subscription. You just get a kind of a one and done experience and it gets you the flavor of it. You get an idea of if it's something that you enjoy and like, and maybe the next year you are okay with doing the three month subscription because you've had a little taste of it. Yeah. So one thing that um, to keep in mind, if you were in Die Live Plus Club this past year, but you're not doing the holiday, um, we're keeping the Facebook group the same. It just helps us with visibility and the algorithm and all that. So you will get booted. Don't, <laughs> don't think it's because I don't like you. It's because... <laughs> No, it's not yeah. like that. So, and um, those who have signed up starting this weekend, I'll start putting you into the Facebook group. So you should get an invitation. If we are not Facebook friends, then please watch your email, the email that you signed up with, because that's where the invitation will go. And to be honest, I can't control the message they send. So it might even look a little bit spammy. Like, yeah. oh, sure, so-and-so invited me to this Facebook group. No, really, I did invite you to the Facebook group. So just keep an eye out for it. And if you don't see it, please don't hesitate to email us ahead of time because sometimes if it gets down to the night of Die Live and you're like, oh, wait, I'm not in the group. Well, I'm out in the Die Studio setting up and Michelle may or may not be available to see your message. So I'll be lounging <laughs> and reclining elsewhere. So um, don't hesitate to reach out if you haven't gotten your invite within the next, you know, within a week of you signing up. Yeah, we want to make way. sure that everybody gets in there. And then the lives are done in the event that she sets up in the group. Yes. So there's an event and she'll she'll post an event for that day and time. And all that information, by the way, is in the listing. So if you click the link in your newsletter this morning for Dialy Plus Club, you'll see all of this. So you'll be able to know the date and time, but it's an event that she sets up and that's where you'll go to watch the live. Yes. So it's pretty simple, but it can seem really confusing in the beginning. Yeah. And because Facebook, yeah, because if you're not Facebook friends with somebody, you can't directly like, Invite, invite them. them. You have to do it through the interface and it is a little more ham-fisted, if you will. Yeah. So I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about the goodie. We've already um, um, sussed out what the goodie is going to be for it. It's right on theme and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're excited about that. 
So super good stuff. So that's very, very exciting yes. coming up this week. Um, Halloween is happening. Our Halloween retreat. We leave Thursday for the Halloween retreat. We're super excited about it. And if you are coming with us to Barnsley in Adairsville, Georgia, then you'll want to watch your email over the next couple of days because we're sending out you, sending out you. We're sending you out. We're sending out to you. Let me get my grammar right here. We're sending out to you your final email with all of your last minute details. Check-in time is four o'clock on Friday afternoon there at Barnsley. And we're very much looking forward to it. We have at least, um, well, we have two spots available. We've had a couple of people who've had some familial situations who may or may not be attending. So if you're interested in going to Barnsley with us this weekend at the last minute, let us know and we will do what we can to connect you to get you in. Um, this is very unusual for us, but some things have happened in some people's lives that make it more difficult for them to attend. But it's a lot of fun. It's very relaxing. It's not overly scheduled at all. It's just a good time to sit and do some knitting with some people. She, we've got a, a little die experience that you're doing that's going to be a lot of fun. And Becky and Katie are going to be there doing a paper craft. And we've got a project. I'm looking at the pattern now, but I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, uh, a, pa a pattern, actually two patterns that we're recommending for some of your swag. Mm -hmm. What could that be? And really fun swag. Um, this year, can I go ahead and, and, and I don't have a picture to show them. Darn. The, um, it's all about gnome stuff. It's all gnome themed this year. Cool. So I think it's going to be fun. And Maria's going to be there. And it's Maria's birthday. So really, we're going to Barnsley to celebrate Maria's birthday. That's what it's all about. No. It's just a big birthday party. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Maria's like, ooh, paper crafts. Yeah. So yeah, if you're thinking today's Saturday and you'd like something to do next weekend on the fly, then let us know. We'll see if we can get you in because it's very likely we can do that. So we're super looking forward to that as well. Um, Socktober's over. I know. And I didn't do the first pair of socks. You've got to stay on me. I really want to get some socks on the needles. I want to be a sock knitter extraordinaire. I really do want All right. to. Bring your shorties. I will. To the retreat? Yep. Okay. You'll you'll help me? Yeah. Is there a set pattern you want to do? Or you just I'll find do one. Vanilla? I'll find one. Okay. I've done vanilla. I want to do something like so a little bit of color work, but not too much, like something just around the cuff okay. that's kind of fun, like maybe something fall. Yeah. So I'll look for something. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I definitely want, want to do some socks, but Socktober ended. We only have a few more of our little Socktober pins left. They kind of fall funny because they're socks. Aren't they cute? There's only a few of these and they say Socktober 2023, Yarny Use. They're perfect to go on your pin banner. Super cute. We've only got a few of those left and the link to the acrylic pins is in your newsletter. And part of the reason the link to the acrylic pins is in the newsletter is because while we left Socktober in October, we have now entered November for hashtag Nakroni Suimo. And so we have, oh, imagine that, Nakroni Suimo pins. Are you shocked? They're shocked. They're they awesome. can't believe we did a, a Nakroni Suimo pin. There it is. How cute is that? I happen to be um, knitting a, why well, I've got like an acid green turtleneck on the needles right now, but my Nacrone Suimo pattern is also kind of a teal color. So I don't know if that influenced my choice of color or not. But anyway, it's super cute. You know what I like about these pens? I like that they're big and you can really see them. Yeah. That's what I like about them. So um, go ahead and snag those pens. Good morning, Lydia. Um, Go ahead and snag those pins up. Some of you already have. And I just love the pins. They're very cool. Wait till you see what we're doing for Thanks for Yarning Day. I know. Well, that and you've got some for... I got some for the holidays. Whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah, we've got something for you coming in the holidays. Mm -hmm. Very soon, you'll be able to pre-order your 2024 pin banner. It's going to be different than this one last year. So it'll be a new place to collect your pins. Ends, but we don't have those for you ready just yet. So we left Socktober, but you know what? We have a winner. Yes, we do. The Socktober make along. There's a winner. So Socktober was a lot of fun. You guys really pumped out the socks. Let oh me my just goodness. tell you. Yes. Holy cow. And I'm ever grateful. One more time, I'm going to say it to Mary Nielsen, who makes sure that my socks, my socks, my feet have 
hand knit socks on them, whether or not I've knit any of my <laughs> own self. Uh, I'm just very saying. good to you. I'm just, she is very good to me. So the winner of the Socktober make along, we did a mid mid make along winner and now yeah. we're doing a final winner is dun 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 kim jackson congratulations kim jackson you win yeah. guess what surprise surprise a sock set and you're also going to get an olive into you logo I pin look at that how cool is that so there you go congratulations um kim she definitely did a bunch of socks didn't she i think she, she did yeah. some i'm well she did the one the comment that i my random number generator that was her. So I was like, okay, give there it you in. go. Very cool. The nice thing about our make alongs and the yarn he uses, you don't have to have a finished project nope. in order to participate and be prize eligible. Right. So that's pretty cool. Cause yeah, if you had to have, we just decided to like um, model it off, off of our behaviors. <laughs> well, mine, you've got all kinds of finished projects. You're so much faster than you've I am. You've got finished projects. I do. I do, but not as many as you, but that's okay. That's just how we roll. That's all right. That's yeah. That's how we roll. So we're into Nacroni Swimo. There is still time to order your kit. Um, you didn't miss out on anything. The kits are still available on the website, and we've got two patterns for kits. Right? You want to talk about yours? So I didn't bring mine because I haven't actually cast mine on. You'll see when we talk about whips. Why? But I am doing the Humulus by Isabel Kramer which I, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have brought it to show you all so you can see, but it's a gorgeous worsted weight color work sweater. Um, and we've got multiple color options for you. We've done the yardage conversion, which you'll want to double check it just to make sure that we've done Always it correctly. Double check our math. But, it's just a good hide. but I think we did a good job um, on that one. And so um, I will definitely have it cast on before next weekend for sure. Yes. And I'm doing the Gossamer Twist by Kadri. I suppose that's how you pronounce her name. It is a bulky weight sweat. I'll show you in a bit when we get to whips. It is a bulky weight, but it's actually more than bulky. I guess maybe it's super bulky. It's think. bulky held with two strands of lace weight yarn. Yeah. So that's a lot of yarning going on. Let me just tell you. Yeah. On size 15 needles. Because I thought, hmm, if there's any hope of me getting one done in November, I better do it on the biggest yarn I could possibly, like, wear on my body. Yeah. And I think this is it. It okay. is. But, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it more. It's very interesting, knitting with all that. But we'll talk about that okay. in a little bit. So, cool. yeah. Hashtag Nacroni Swimo. Carolyn put up the thread in the Yarny You so you can start posting your pictures. We'll have winners along the way. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And here's the deal. If you want a different set of colors for your sweater and it's not in the kit, all you have to do is email us and we'll set up a special order for you. Yeah. And Carolyn's really good about getting those out fairly quickly. We don't like to like over promise, but she's pretty good about that. So you're not waiting months and months um, for your yarn. She gets it done pretty quickly. Yeah. So super, super fun. Hey, speaking of Socktober, I know we left October. Y'all, there's only one of these left. This is the sock rulers. Do you need it? No, I have one. But okay. you, if you don't have one, you want one. Yeah. There's only one of these left. They're great sock rulers. Um, they help you to know what size socks. You just use it. There's all kinds of instructions on how to use it. Um, actually, in the listing, there's a great photo that tells you how to do it. But all you have to know to knit the right size socks for people is their shoe size. So you don't have to ask them for a lot of measurements with this. And it's got um, kids women and men on it and then the back is a regular ruler and they're slap bracelets so they're super easy to store and use with your project bags i know several of our yarn to use have multiples of these because they have them in different project bags so there's only one left and it's in white we have lavender petal pink sea glass and white and there's only one left and it's in white which i actually prefer i mean i like all the colors but i'm fond of white it's nice yeah. and clean so there's only one of these left. The link is in your newsletter. And the best thing is that it works toe up or cuff down. Yes. So Keep all the sock knitting works with that, yes. which is really, really a good thing. Awesome. So speaking of products that we talked about Dye Light Plus Club a minute ago, the crown box is going to be going down on Monday. Right. So you guys have signed up for that. It's a mystery box. It's not a subscription. It's a one and done mystery box. The crown is coming back for its final season that focuses on Princess Diana. So you said it kind of frustrates you to watch it because you don't feel like she was treated well. Yeah, I'll watch it. But 
<laughs> You'll watch it and grumble. Just a little bit of grumbling going on. I like it. Anyway, so the mystery box will have yarn in it. Of course, we've got some suggested patterns as well. You get to choose your base and the colorway is a mystery. And then there'll be some goodies in there that are kind of on theme with the crown. And so, yeah, it goes down Monday. So this is your last chance to get in. I know there are some of you that sometimes pass on opportunities like this. And then when everybody gets their box and starts showing it, you're like, I knew I should have done it. This is your future self reminding you now that you want the crown mystery box if you haven't already gotten it. So the link is in your newsletter for that as well. Very cool. Right. Let's talk about what you guys are working on. We've got another prize to get to too, but we're going to make you wait for that a little bit. There are so many whips this week. Can I just tell you? Oh boy. So there were a lot, so many whips this week, but we love, love, love seeing everything that you're working on. So let's see what you have been having on your needles and hooks. You didn't dance with me this time. Oh, I'm sorry. I was getting ready. I was dancing. All right. First up, we've got Nancy Estenis. She used Tennyson for some socks. I love that Tweety look on those socks. Yeah. Gee, I wonder if these were for Sean. Oh, I bet they were. Very but nice. I love them. I yeah. love those tweeds, especially during the winter time. Yeah. So Tennyson, which is what she used, is actually really good. It's a BFL um, yarn and nylon. So it's excellent. So if you like that look, Tennyson is definitely the base for you. Absolutely. Oh, nice. So Jessica used her, her um, pumpkin kits. I think they're sold out the now, cranky right? Pumpkin kits, yeah, yep. the cranky pumpkin kits. And she made a couple of pumpkins there. Um, she did such a great job. Look at that. Like, looks Aren't like something adorable? you would buy in the store. And what's cool about that is then you can use them from year to year. I mean, yes. they're just nice decorations to have out. Absolutely. Very cool. Nancy, again, look at her cranking out things. She's mm -hmm. got more hats. Um, so these are really cool. She used her leftover yarns and I like that a lot. Tennyson and Hiberna and then Homer in No Limits. She says she thinks No Limits needs to come back into the shop. Mm. Yeah, I dye it from time to time. It is a very time consuming colorway, but it is, you're right. It's gorgeous. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. You need No Limits. Oh, okay. So this is Lonnie's, um, Casapinka shawl, uh, the pretty threads shawl. And she is mixing there the two colors you see are saturday in the park i think that was a dye live colorway and then jade is the green that she's got mixed in she there. does such a good job with mixing matching colors for mm. sure and still doing the socks look at that for socktober i love that she said she can't believe she was able to finish her other sock it took two days after carpal tunnel surgery man she is committed for sure look at that and Sugar and Spice on Twain and Everything Nice, June Ho, um, and a Nameless Yarn. But look how pretty those are. I think one of those was from either Soxy U, maybe? Yeah, yeah. the Soxy U Club, Sock Club that we've got going on. That's awesome. All right, let's see. This is Courtney Crawford, and she has two pair that she has completed for Socktober. I love that so much. Or did she say no? Yeah, and a new pair that she also started. Awesome. All the socks. All the socks. All the socks. More socks here. Dory Moore. One done for Socktober. The other's on the needles. And I think that looks like Lindsay's song. It does. How cute is that? So pretty. I love that sort of pseudo striping effect that comes on, into play on those. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, these were some of my favorites. So this was Paulette. And she completed, I'm trying to remember. Oh, Paint the Town Red was the accent color. And the sky is falling was the other. And I can't remember. What was that from? The sky is sure. falling. Is that a dye live, maybe? Hmm. It was oh, not a regular I think color. it was a whimsy. Was it, it a, was whimsy? a whimsy? Okay. Yeah. I love it. A whimsy. I don't know why it keeps flipping to you and I before. It, it never used to do that. Yeah, I don't know what that's It's about. kind of weird. Okay. Sabrina Vanderay, she got a head start on Nacrony Suimo because she's finishing up her sweater from last year. <laughs> that's totally Absolutely allowable. it counts. And it was her Sunset Highway sweater. She moved, though, to be fair. And so, you know, when you move, it's hard to find everything. Mm -hmm. But she found it. She's almost done. I love the colors that she chose yes. for that. Very cool. All right. And then this is Doris Willett. Um, those were her Socktober socks. And, oh, it was a Casapinka Winter Storm sock pattern. 
And then, oh, the colorway is Good Girl, which has, I don't know if you can see it, just a few speckles, such a cute color. Um, so yeah. I love Good Girl. Yeah. I do, I do. And then Teresita, look at this. She's working on her ranunculus. Yes. Ranunculus. Yep. I can never say it right. <laughs> <laughs> um, very, very pretty. And she's actually using Cavendish as well, isn't she? Yep. Are you both doing it in Cavendish? We are both doing it in Cavendish. We are going to be total twinsies when we're done. My next sweater is going to be in Cavendish. I just want to say. Nice. You know, once I get done with the 12 that are on my needles now. <laughs> oh, this one. I absolutely love this. Carol Burdett did this in the Adalia Don't Dally colorway. And I have got to go back and dye me some of that. I have seen it in socks and love it. And then this is the, um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the pattern is. I don't remember either. Oh, it's a, as if as she if modified it a it. little bit. I love it so much. Oh, looks gorgeous. really, really good. Yeah. And then Carol Higgs Burdett, finally getting back to some knitting after moving. So the oversized cover up is Happiness by Kyle Konecki. Knitted in Olive and To You, The Beast, Little Storm Cloud from the Wednesday Spooky Mystery Box. Yes, that's one of those it. mystery boxes. Yep. Little Storm Cloud. I love the pattern that that did on that. I know. I mean, you couldn't have planned that any better. Mm -mm. Absolutely awesome. So we love, love, love seeing all the whips and everything that you all are working on. Um, all right, let's talk about what we're working on. You, right. you go first. Okay. So I actually made a good deal of progress i will show you so i also knitting the ranunculus like teresita i'm loving it she and i are both using cavendish colorway we said and so we're using the beast and then it was supposed to be one strand of bronte but i may have messed up and used two strands <laughs> Woo! what's your gauge like so it basically the pattern calls for a size 10 needle so I, it's basically, and that's why I was able to make so much progress. If y'all remember, I had just cast on last weekend, but there are a couple of reasons why I was able to make so much progress. One is that it's essentially a bulky weight sweater. Um, and two, it is a crop. It doesn't come all the way down because I'm going to wear it over a shirt because it's meant to be very loose. You got to show your belly. No, I'm not going to show my belly. I'm wearing it over a shirt, a long sleeve shirt. And so it is a crop top, but I did get a lot of knitting time this week because do you remember when we were in New York, I was dealing with a food allergy, yes. right? And I knew, cause I have another food allergy that I get the same itchy mouth lips and stuff and scratch. So I knew when I was dealing with it, that something else was going on because it was like, it would get better. And then the next day it was worse again. Sure enough, it continued as I got home and I have realized I also have, I don't know if it's a new food sensitivity, but it's maybe one that just once I eat over a certain threshold of a, of a certain food, it's pumpkin. Oh, no. Yeah, it's pumpkin. Oh, so, no. And I feel bad saying it because I'm actually very thankful to Katie because she made these pumpkin muffins that I can have. Um, the brand that she used, it was from a mix. Except they have pumpkin in them. Yeah, I didn't know because I eat pumpkin, but not that much. And I, I love it. And I love that brand that she used, Simple Mills. It's gluten, dairy, corn, soy free, all that good stuff. So I like the muffins so much that when I got home, I got a box of my own and I made a pumpkin loaf. So, of course, I proceeded to eat it over the next week, it continued to have problems. Oh, no. And then I think it was really honestly an answer to prayer because... It was on Halloween day was the last day that I ate any. And I actually had the last few slices of the loaf. And it just so happened that Morgan decided that because it was Halloween day, she was going to carve the pumpkin that she had not previously carved. Because, you know, Florida heat and yeah. carving, that'll destroy your pumpkins faster. But she was like, I'm going to go ahead and carve it. So she carved it. And as she was carving, she was like, is pumpkin acidic? Because my hands are burning. And I was like, I don't think so. But I looked it up. And I just happened upon an article that said people with autoimmune issues often have a sensitivity oh. to pumpkin. And that was when the light bulb went off and I was like, okay, no more pumpkin for me. What a bad time of year to find that out. I too. know, but needless to say, outside of work, I spent a lot of time on the couch working on my ranunculus. So that's why I got so much done. I see it. Yeah. And let me tell you this. So size 10 needles, you know, we use our shorties so for the sleeves. 
so yeah, soft. I know it is. It's that Bronte. And squishy. I'm telling you, if you have not knit with Bronte, you are missing Oh my out. gosh, I'm in love. I know. Is it not the squishiest thing I'm ever? Serious. Yeah. Okay. Go so ahead. anyway, last night I was like, I had to cast on my sleeves and I looked at my shorties, my blue shorties. And I was like, oh, there's not a size 10. And here. then I got a very frenzied text <laughs> message from her. I was like, uh, I need the yellow shorties. Do I didn't do them. I need yellow shorties. We do have yellow shorties, although now we don't. I got the last one. So here's the deal. If you're doing Nakroni Suimo and you're doing one of our sweaters, you're going to need bigger needles for your sleeves and such. So we're going to order some more shorties. We'll have those in soon. Shoot us an email if you want a set so I know. And um, yeah. Yeah. So these go up. So basically... I won't go over all the others because I, I think I don't even know if I yeah. remember what all the others have. But I do know that the blue shorties go up to a size eight. So the yellows are from nine to 11. Yes. So the yeah. blue is great for most of your sweater patterns. If you're doing like, um, you know, a, a, a DK sweater or a worsted weight sweater or a fingering weight sweater that yeah. works. But um, these are for your larger sizes. Yeah, for sure. So, so I'm so thankful. We're going to order more of those in very soon. And speaking of pre-ordering, let me get to this and I'll show you what I'm knitting. Speaking of pre-ordering, um, you may have seen that Atenti, you know, we love Atenti bags. We all do. Has a new, a new ish fabric called Mimi out. I think it's Mimi. And they, they're taking pre-orders right now for some of their bag shapes with it because of something to do with their supplier. So I've had some people email me and say they're interested. I'm also interested. So I have an email into Atenti about what we can pre-order on that. So if you're interested, let me know. Just go to their Instagram, if you do Instagram at all, and they've got a photo up. It is such a fun fabric, especially for crafters. It has a very crafting cool. kind of feel for it. I'll see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a really cool fabric. I'm not sure how many shapes they're going to um, be doing this particular fabric in, but that's why I have the email into them to find out. And then we can let you know. Let me find it here really quickly. There I'm it is. To see it. Yes. Oh, how cute is that? It is just a really pretty fabric. And I love some of their newer bag shapes too, like that one she's showing right there. I'm all about that. You know, that will be so fun and festive for spring. Yes. Oh my gosh. So that is the Mimi fabric. It's a video I clicked on. Let me see if I can get a still picture here for you to see. Here we go. They show quite a few bags. Yeah, in there. they show quite a few bags. See if you can see that. Anyway, it has a very kind of, um, kind of, I don't know, it just looks crafty to me. It does. It has that crafty flair to it. Yeah, and it's very colorful, but definitely looks good spring. I love Almost the leather a handles. Look. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Maria said she's going to post a pic in the recap in the Yarny Use. Um, so we'll have that. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be getting one of those myself. So if you're doing a pre-order, can they also look at other fabrics as well? Probably so. I'll have the details of this as soon as I hear back from them, which will probably be Monday. Um, I'll let you know in the Yarny Use um, cool. what the pre-order options are so that we can get those in. Okay. On to bigger things. Bigger things, because this is my super, super bulky sweater. I did cast on. I know you're probably all shocked. Not a big cast Yay. on, but this has a twisted rib neckline. It's a turtleneck. And I'm like, what, what this twisted rib is just <laughs> takes, takes time because you knit and purl through the back loop, which yeah. is, um, it takes a lot of moving your, it's a little, yarn it's and... a little fiddly to do, but it's not bad. So I have never knit on size 15 needles before. Does it hurt your hands? It does not hurt my hands yet, but I haven't, it's not like I've been knitting for hours. Um, it doesn't hurt my hands, but I will say this, getting back to what I said earlier, yes, thicker yarns, heavier weight yarns do in fact knit or crochet up faster because you're covering more ground ultimately with each stitch that you're making. But I will tell you that your economy of movement decreases because you're having to make what I call more gross movements rather than more fine movements, right? If you're knitting yeah. with fingering weight yarn, it's just, it's all right here. When you're knitting with a bulky weight yarn, I mean, it is much more gross movements to, to manipulate this big old needle. Mm -hmm. um, but I do, I do like it. I'm finding it good. And, you know, I haven't done a lot. It's not, you know, let's all be honest. 
but that actually represents a fair amount of time because it with the twisted rib it does take a little bit longer yeah and it is pretty and at first i was like okay i'm not seeing a big difference between this and regular rib why am i doing this but i am starting to see the pattern emerge liz said yeah twisted rib is really beautiful and it really is um so i am i am i'm loving it so far and i am loving the fabric already that this is making with oh, our yeah. bulky yarn and the two strands of um, Bronte. Does our bulky yarn have a name? I can't it remember. doesn't. We, need we to name really it. need to name it. We need we to name will. it. We'll do that. We'll work on that. Um, because I'm, I'm, I am really loving it. It's super squishy, and I'm really, really enjoying um, working on that. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Never mind. No, I don't have my sleeves done on my other two sweaters that just need sleeves. One of which has one sleeve almost completed. Again, I need a ghost knitter. I'll put an application on the yarn I use if you'd like to apply. It pays in yarn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pays in yarn and thank yous. No, I'm joking. Actually, I like it. I've got three sweaters that are near completion and are oh, not completed. Really I know. My early bloomer is the one that's really Actually, haunting me. Don't we have something coming up next year that will be good you can participate in? Yes, we do. I think we do have something next year. But I don't get to win prizes. I'll give you a prize. You'll give me a prize. I'll give you a prize if you finish it. Give me a sweater. Starbucks or something. Yes. Absolutely. We'll work for Starbucks. That's what I will do. Absolutely. absolutely. All right. What else we got going on? So Yarny mm -hmm. Gras is coming up. We had a blast in New York at Indie Untangled with all of our Yarny views that went. They made it so much fun. Um, but Yarny Gras is coming up in New Orleans. It is Saturday. Wait. It's Saturday, January. Oh, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. It's 27. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, like January 27th. And it will be from 12 to 3. I think you pronounce it Falberg Brewing Company. Yep. Now, listen. This, she has said that she there are going to be some a block of hotel rooms, which we're looking forward to. I happen to look at the parade routes. There is a parade that evening about 10 minutes from the brewery. Now, I don't know where the hotel is yet. But there are, um, there's actually two parades that evening. One looks like it's a little farther away. But I'm hoping that we can go see, because apparently, I'm new to this whole thing, but apparently they do multiple parades yes. throughout the, the month. And there is a parade. There's actually one at noon. But at noon, you'll be at the brewery. So you can't be watching Squishing all the yarn. Right. Absolutely. No, I do not want to restart the computer now to start the oh updates. So let's say try tonight, because having it restart... <laughs> In the middle of a live would not be a lot of fun. That could be. Fun. It would be very exciting. So yarn across coming up. We'll have the link and the details to get you signed up. We'll be there. We'll be vending with um, some other indie dyer friends, and it's I think some yarn users are going to go. We're not planning anything, but the hotel room block will be available, and you can make your own plans um, to go up, and it will be a lot of fun. I do intend on um, eating me some beignets. I'm yes. just saying. And there are extra activities outside. It's not just a 12 to 3 event. There are, right. there's a craft evening the night before. And I heard some, there was something else she said, which I don't remember. A mix, a, a, a greet and mix and greet yeah. kind of thing with so it's, hors d'oeuvres. And yeah. And we'll be cocktails. there. So um, yeah, it's not like we're just going to show up to the 12. Right. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll hang out with you some. We just, yeah. we're not planning an actual right retreat or anything like that around yeah. it but we would love to have you there absolutely we will love to have you there so let's talk about holidays for just a minute because they are coming up fast the hanukkah and christmas boxes are nearing completion and we'll be shipping out to you on time possibly even a little bit early to make sure you get them that is an invitation to tea um, we're very excited about those it'll be the most interactive box we've ever offered before and you'll understand what that means when you get your box. I think we've got a couple of each variety still available. So I'm not sure if the link is in your newsletter, but all you have to do is search Christmas or Hanukkah and um, you'll find it on our website. Once they're gone, they are absolutely unequivocally gone. Yes. So keep that in mind. But thinking about the holidays, our wish lists are still available on our website and they're a great way to let your friends and family know what it is you really want. Um, cause nobody wants a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. Well, I did actually one year and I got one, which I like to tell everybody that, um, <laughs> and make Jim look bad, but no, he actually got me the vacuum cleaner I wanted. It was a Dyson. That's a good vacuum Those cleaner. Those things are an investment. Yeah. Um, but typically 
you know, yarn will scratch the itch that you're looking for on the holidays. So go ahead, fill out your wish list, and then you can send the link to people or we can send the link to people. If you know somebody that you'd like us to drop a hint to, just shoot us an email, give us their email address, and we will do that. We'll send them a link to your wish list. And then, you know, if you've got Yarny friends or family, we've got lots of fun things in the shop that you can purchase for them. We've still got a little bit of our soap left. Yarn Fumes and Dye Vibes is here. They make really nice gifts and they smell really, really good. Mm -hmm. If you've got friends who are into like embroidery, we've got some embroidery kits. This is really cool. We only got a couple of these left. These are the hand embroidery companion cards that I am absolutely sold on. If you have any interest in embroidery, you want one of these. They are these really cool cards that come in a deck that show and explain how to do stitches, but it's better than that. All of them have a QR code on them here that you scan with your phone and you're taken to a video for really clear directions. So these are fabulous. There's all kinds of things in the shop that work really well for gifts. And now is the time to snag those. And speaking of gifts, I wanted to mention something. I'm not sure we showed this before. Sharon, um, everybody was giving gifts at our Indie Untangled Freestyle and Sharon surprised us with something really amazing from Bialo Payton Designs. Look at this, I believe it's brass. And it's this really beautiful handcrafted cable needle, or you can use it as a shawl pen. Yeah. How I'm neat that. is that? Beautiful. She was so thoughtful to give us that. I and I, I have to say, I've purchased things from Bialo Payton Designs before Deidre. She is awesome and makes beautiful, beautiful items. She really so does. So thank you, Sharon, for that. We truly, truly appreciate it. Yeah. All good stuff. All right. What, oh, <laughs> no, you go first. In unison. I meant to mention this yarn that you see up here. Oh, yeah. How was your Halloween? It's over. And if you're anything like me, you didn't get everything done that you wanted to get done for Halloween. So be like me and get a jump start on next year by snagging your Halloween account kit. We've got a few of these left in some different colors. We've got some kind of modern, some more subdued, and then some really traditional colors. You order the kit, the link is in your newsletter, and you get a code for the pattern. So you can download the pattern. You don't have to pay anything extra for it and do it. It's a really simple pattern, a little bit of simple color work, and you get it done now. So you'll have it for next year, either to give as a gift or to wear on Halloween. That's awesome. Was that the O? No, I actually, mine was more selfish. Sorry. Oh. Um, I didn't show y'all. I didn't make a lot of progress, but um, I made a tiny Ooh, bit of progress. I love those colors together. I know on my, what are they called? Doodle socks. And so there's Cavendish up here. And then I've got a mix of forbidden wood with potions and copper and mossy. Um, and it actually does, the color work would show up much better if I were using uh, two solids throughout. But forbidden wood, as you know, is a variegated, but I don't care. I love those colors together. Yeah, I'm just loving that real, you know, in, not intricate, but that real variegated design that it's making because they're fall colors and yeah. So anyway, these are for both. Now that October's over, I should have no problem getting back to sock exactly. knitting. Exactly. <laughs> That's just how it works. Yeah, exactly. I totally, totally understand that. Yeah. I've got to get some socks on the needles. All right. Well, you're going to bring your shorties and we're going to get you going. I will bring going. my shorties and we'll make sure and bring the needle case for if you're at the following retreat, we'll have needles on hand. If you need some extra needles. And Maria makes a good point. You don't have to use these kits for the cow. There's some really nice colors that go together yeah. really well here. And you could use it for anything you want to use it for. Mm. So I know, right? Yeah. All the yarn. You know, I'm I'm still finishing up my fiber web beanie um, that I started There's last. There's one of those kits left. Is there? Well, I, I'm bringing that to Halloween um, because Tiffany showed me up and finished hers at the retreat, I believe, for yes. her daughter. Meanwhile, I started mine, never finished it. So I'm going to be working on that. We will have something next year that'll work for both of us, That's won't we? Right. We've got some fun plans for next year, including Die Life Plus Club and some other fun things. Um, so do keep that in mind. We'll keep you posted as necessary. And we have a hashtag all of into you projects winner this week. We do a winner every month on the first podcast of the month. The way you enter is post your projects. It's okay to post them in the yarn to use, but it really does us the best service if you post it in your other knitting and crochet groups online. 
using hashtag olive in to you projects. And then you're entered to win. And we have a winner every single month. This month's winner is going to win this set of Homer yarn. I get to pick the prizes most of the time. So she never knows what I'm picking. I love that. Set. And then uh, olive and to you um, logo pin. And the winner for this one is dun, dun, dun. Laura Blair. Congratulations, hey. Laura. We'll be sending you out your goodies. I love it. We so appreciate it when you all post. We really do. And brag on us. And yeah, we just we appreciate it, that. More it means you know. it means everything to us to help kind of get our name out there and, and to bring new Yarny U's into the fold. And it's always fun to have new people here. I'm glad Lisa's here today. I hope she will um, is still here. And that if you're brand new to us, definitely we're grateful that you're here. Be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to email us. Yes. And show us what you're oh, wearing. This is my, this is my first cumulus blouse, which I did in Bronte. Um, it calls for two strands of a lace weight yarn. And, but it, because you're doing that, it knits up as a DK gauge. So it goes quickly, um, but it's got great detailing. I cord, bind off here at the neck and the cuffs and at the waist. I'll stand up real quick so you can see it. And this is in the vintage colorway. So yeah. And um, I guess I should mention in case you don't know, if you ever need a sweater's quantity that we don't have available on the shop, just let us know and we'll do a special order for you. The bottom line is just email us. Any questions you have, any thoughts you have, any customer service <laughs> needs, well thoughts, you know, just email us. Um, if you wake up in the middle of the night, no. <laughs> text Michelle. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Simply text Michelle <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> you might be surprised. Sometimes you get an answer. Hey, we are here today at Needleworks until noon. Um, I have a funeral that I need to attend today, which is kind of why I'm all in black. Um, a, a person that I really thought a lot of has passed away. And so we're here only until noon today. But we will be here. So if you're local and want to stop by and see us, definitely, definitely do. And um, yeah, stay tuned because there's more exciting things coming, especially for the holidays for both Hanukkah and Christmas. And we don't want to leave anybody out at all. And um, be sure, I'm not sure how long the Die Life Plus Club Holiday Edition will remain open. So you want to go ahead and get your order in as quickly as possible. And, you know, if you have a fiber friend that you think might enjoy the experience, since it's for one month only, you could even gift it to them. If you need help doing that, let me know and I can help with the communication and making that happen behind the scenes. You all, we are so grateful for you. Thank you for meeting us here every single Saturday morning. We hope you enjoy it. Please know that you, EWE, all y'all, are really the reason that we keep going. We've been in business about six and a half years now, right? Yeah. It'll be seven years in July. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure we would have lasted this long, except if it weren't for you. Not only your purchasing, but just your encouragement. So please know how grateful we are for you. We'll be broadcasting live next week from the following retreat at Barnsley. So that's for sure going to be a lot of fun. You never know what's going to happen. And um, we will see you in the Yarny U's, right? Yes, we Any will. Any parting shots? Have a great week. Have a fabulous week. And we will see you in the Yarny U's. Bye, Bye. everybody.